Hi Curious and welcome back. Imagine that you wake up tomorrow morning, turn on the news and the first thing you see is that the UK has decided to completely abolish the monarchy. What would happen? It has been a question that many had been asking for a long time and today we are going to look at just what would change for the members of the family as well as the country. Would the senior members of the family need to get jobs? And if yes, what could they do? What will happen to the billions of dollars worth of royal property? Could it be that the Queen's passing could make this change a reality? And is this something that people will want? Stay with us until the very end to find out the changes that could happen if the royal family was to ever abolish. But before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, turn on the notifications, and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our daily videos. Over the years, there had always been talks about anti-royalists about getting rid of the monarchy so that the country could have a head of state that was actually in charge of the elected by the people rather than a line of succession. And a recent article by The Guardian seems to back that up as allegedly 41% of the people aged 18 to 24 would prefer an elected head of state compared to a 31% who want a king or queen. Though over the years, nothing suggested that such a change would be happening anytime soon. But could the Queen's passing change that? We're not going to talk about any protocol that would follow her passing. However, if you want to know what would happen, then be sure to check out our previous video. But for now, make sure you stay with us until the very end to find out what will happen to the members of the family should such a decision ever be made. Next in line, of course, be the eternal heir to the throne, Prince Charles, who to this day is the subject of public anger over the affair that he had behind Princess Diana's back. And Newsweek, who had reported on this, had revealed that in their poll, 58% of the people had said that they would rather see Prince William as the next king compared to the 23% who wanted Charles, who allegedly has an approval rating of 45%. So this has led to many publications speculating if him being crowned king would have more people calling to abolish the crown. What do you think, Curious? However, let's imagine that tomorrow the people of the United Kingdom decided to no longer want to be a monarchy. What would change? Well, before we get into the nitty gritty details of who gets what and whether the family will need to go to work, let's see how such a decision could happen. While such countries such as Greece and Bulgaria had abolished their monarchies through a public referendum, others such as France and a much more violent way royal commentator Marlene Cohen had talked about the process stating that it would take legislation, an act of parliament, and signed by the sovereign to end a monarchy. So either way, it would be something that would go through the government first or such a thing to be even considered. But if it supposedly did, the first thing that would happen was that it, the royals would have to move out of Buckingham Palace and give up their estates. But not all. Only a portion of the family wealth come from their private properties as the sizable chunk of them belong to the crown estate, which is a holding of the land and assets that is passed from monarch to monarch. Though it is not owned by whoever is in charge, but rather by the crown itself. So if the monarchy was abolished, they would not get to keep the crown estate, which as per Forbes is estimated to be around $25 billion. And besides given up on their main residence, aka Buckingham Palace, why not check out what kind of fancies they might have to give up? And why not check out our new channel Curious Sips Wow where we have a video about what goes on behind closed doors and you can do so by clicking on the link above now. You know, the country as a whole will have to undergo some serious changes as well as the Commonwealth, though some discussions online about the topic suggest that losing the Queen as the head of the state would not be that much of an issue as for the remaining states. Well, forever how the UK, the Bank of England would need to change out the faces on its currency, and the country's national anthem could even make a lyrical change or adopt a new song. And where the name of the country is concerned, chances are that they will opt to keep the symbolic United Kingdom. And one of the biggest arguments by those who want to keep the United Kingdom monarchy is the fact that the family brings in a lot of money via tourism. So, which by Forbes is true as the Crown Estate over the past decade is said to have generated $3.7 billion for the UK's finances. But it could still continue to do so as most likely the outcome would be that Buckingham Palace could be turned into a tourist attraction like a museum of sorts. And other residences that are owned by the estate include Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holly Roadhouse. And if some were to argue that the lack of having a ruling monarchy would change the minds of tourists when planning their trips, it's worth pointing out that countries such as France, which abolished its monarchy a long time ago, still generate a lot of money through tourism, especially the famous places of Versailles. Of course, since we're talking about money that goes into the British economy, without the royal family, taxpayers could save at cash, as per the British heritage, 67 million pounds was spent in the royals in the 2018-2019 alone, which could be around $88 million. But another side of the coin should be considered, and that is the fate of the employees of this family. As per Forbes, the Buckingham Palace alone has some what 1,200 people working there, which be left without a job. And while some could potentially work as tour guides or fill some kind of similar jobs, many of them would most likely need to start looking for job listings. Though don't worry, Curious, the Winsters wouldn't be left homeless, as the family does own their residencies privately. 
and of course the famous Balmer Castle in Scotland is one of them and has been since 1852. And other residences that are their own include the Sandringham Estate and the Amber Hall, which was a wedding gift from the Queen to William and Kate. Besides their privately owned properties, another thing that the royals could keep would be a security team, as they would still be needed, and ruling monarchies or not, so it's unclear whether they would have to keep paying the traditional Queen's guards or to choose a private company. However, with the royals out of the Buckingham Palace and out of power, would anything change with how the country is run? Well, not really. The official royal website states that the British monarchy is known as a constitutional monarchy, which means that while the ruling sovereign is head of the state and any decision making as well as passing of legislation resides with the elected parliament, so chances are that it would continue to be the prime minister that does all the important decision making and ruling the country. So what could members of the royal family do? Well, should the monarchy be abolished, cause it's not like the members will cease to exist and they will most likely still be seen as respectable figures. And given their ages, chances are that Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles could retire, and their existing fortune, which the Bloomberg Index estimates to be around $425 million, would be enough for them. Though the younger members, such as Prince William and Kate for example, might follow in the same route taken by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The pair had gone into making deals with Spotify and Netflix and working on various projects together, as well as their publishing deals where Markle has already released her children's book and her husband plans to write a tell-all memoir. And it seems that for them, the work is paid off as for Fox Business, they have a combined net worth of about $50 million. Though we're not going to talk too much about what plans the Sussexes have as we have a previous video dedicated to which you can view by clicking on the link above. Though for now, stay with us until the end to find out more about what jobs the Royals could do. But what could other members of the family do besides following in the Sussex's steps? Well, while members of the royal family work closely with some charities, it is something that they could perhaps continue doing, but taking a more hands-on approach rather than just being in some way the face of the foundation. But what if they decided to do something completely different? Princess Anne, for example, was an avid equestrian rider and should she choose to do something as a profession, she could very well take on a job as a coach or maybe even work alongside her daughter Zara who at the 2012 Olympics had won a silver medal. And as per his official website, Prince Charles is said to be an avid gardener, especially hedge laying, so this could be a possible career for choice for him. And having been a keen golfer in the past, this could be something that Prince Andrew would also explore as a possible source of income. And as for the youngest of the Queen's children, Prince Edward in the past, he had his own production company and he produced several documentaries and programs so this could be something that he could decide to continue with. And while it's fun to look at the possible scenarios and the what ifs should the British monarchy be abolished, royal experts say that the likelihood of something like that happening is pretty low. So Koning states that the monarchy is not going anywhere anytime soon and adding there are no protests and the republican movement is small and the political system is so stable. So it looks like Queen Elizabeth II and her family are staying and exactly where they are and the results of the YouGov poll suggest that 61% of the people are in support of keeping the royal family and they will likely be there for a while. So curious, what are your thoughts on the matter? Do you think the United Kingdom would be better off without the monarchy? Could you imagine the royals having to do regular jobs to earn their keep? And if so, which professions do you see them working in? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time!